Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Elite Clockman here. Episode 30 of Skibidi Multiverse just dropped, and I think I'm not exaggerating when I say this is epic. There is no other word to describe it, just epic. The upgraded Titan Clockman is finally here after so long, and trust me, the wait is worth it, as he might crown himself as the strongest Titan. The Counter Titan and his mistress Alpha were defeated, and Titan Cameraman might be stronger than we think. But before we get to all that, make sure to like and subscribe if you think this is the best analysis channel. Anyway, here we go. The episode starts off with the end of episode 29, with the supposed death of Titan TV Man, as the Counter Titan is torturing him to death with a drill. At that moment, we all thought that it was the end for the Purple Titan, when suddenly the eye of Titan Cameraman became red as he bursts in rage. I think that this is the first time we saw him get this angry. He got up, and launched himself flying in the direction of the Counter Titan. The Mad Titan grabbed the Counter Titan and got him off his friend. It was unbelievable. The Almighty Counter Titan couldn't get Titan Cameraman to let go of him as the Mad Titan punched him in the stomach while getting him up in the air. Counter Titan had no other choice but to get rid of Titan Cameraman's jetpack. The fight was now in mid-air. In order not to fall, the Counter Titan used the flying board on his back to stand in mid-air. Counter Titan tried to shook his foe off, but it was no use. He was like a completely different person, a literal beast. But when the Counter Titan tried to end him with his laser tail, Blood pulled an Uno reverse on him and used his gravity gun to aim the beam towards Counter Titan's head. But that's not all the Mad Titan sucker punched him in the face before hitting him with his knee using all of his strength. Shortly after, Titan Cameraman lifted Counter Titan with his gravity gun and proceeded to smash him to the ground. Titan TV Man couldn't believe his eyes. The Counter Titan that easily overpowered them was now under Titan Cameraman getting showered in punches and bullets. Titan Cameraman entered God Mode, but at the last second Counter Titan blocked the punch and stabbed him in the chest. But it was no use. You can clearly see that Titan Cameraman was still boiling with rage. The big angry homie just used his gravity gun to get that thing off of him when he was stabbing him no stop. The Counter Titan was now on the ground, but before he could get up, Titan TV Man used his powers to cut his head off. The battle was now over. They've won. Or so did they thought. The headless Counter Titan just got up and simply put his head back on, like nothing ever happened as he looked them dead in the eye. The fight was not over yet. Titan Cameraman fell back as he tried to protect the injured Titan TV Man. Knowing that he can't fight anymore, Titan TV Man gave the Blue Titan his iconic sword. With it, he might stand a chance or at least hold his ground until someone saved them. At that moment, Alpha decided to show some sarcasm, calling the cameraman's rage an epic fail. She also said that she was impressed in order to make fun of them. She kept mocking them by asking them to go die as they have an Earth to conquer. Round two was about to begin. Titan TV Man tried to rejoin the fight, but Titan Cameraman stopped him. He was in no condition to fight. All seemed hopeless, but at that moment, at this one special exact moment, as the Counter Titan was getting ready to tear them up, a giant back and yellow golden sword stabbed the Counter Titan from behind. Black and yellow, huh? A familiar set of colors. Then the Counter Titan was lifted by the sword like a little toy. Everyone was shocked and impressed after a long time. He has returned. There is no doubt that our dear Titan Clockman was back, upgraded and better than ever. And you can easily tell that he came for business as he walked slowly while holding the Counter Titan at the end of his giant sword with just one hand. For reference, the Counter Titan is larger and bigger than the average Titan, and yet just look how small that thing is compared to the upgraded Titan Clockman. Shortly after, Blood shook the Counter Titan off his sword like drill women shake me off when I try to riz her up at her window at night and pointed his new sword at the enemy. Look at his sword. It is charged with time particles and was even able to penetrate the Counter Titan when the Sword of Titan TV Man couldn't, making it the strongest blade in the verse. But that's not all. Just look at my beautiful boy's design, and the blades in his back were certainly not for show. At that moment, you can clearly see how the Purple Lady Alpha was in panic. The simple fact that the Golden Big Boy is back just changed all of her plans. Terrified, she ordered Counter Titan to go rage mode. At that moment, the Counter Titan used all the weapons in his arsenal and charged Titan Clockman with all his might. Shortly after, Alpha let out an evil laugh telling them that it was no use, 
and that Counter Titan can't be defeated. But just before she could finish her word, the gigantic Titan Clockman was now behind her in an instant as the Counter Titan hit the air like a fool. She couldn't believe her eyes as she froze in place. But that wasn't the end of her misery. Titan Clockman just looked at the Counter Titan and he instantly got cut up to pieces. Blood was now topless as his corpse fell to the ground. But the upgraded Titan Clockman wasn't done flexing his powers yet. Bro threw a car at Alpha as he teleported behind her once again to catch her. Titan Clockman had his enemy in the palm of his hand now, literally. Her end was now near, but even at that moment she didn't flinch. She looked the Titan dead in the eye, telling him that her master will make him pay for what they did to her and her master's favorite toy. That mysterious guy, Alpha's uncle, seems to be all-powerful, even more the Titan killer and his niece, because she also told the Titan Clockman that they have no idea who they're messing with. But we still know nothing about him. Only time will reveal. Only time will tell. Shortly after she finally shut her mouth, a hole opened up behind Titan Clockman, and in it we can see an old friend. The ghost of the Clock Chief appeared behind the upgraded Titan. With all of the fallen drillmen, all of Alpha's victim came to see her meeting her end. She couldn't believe her eyes. But how is that possible? Is this some kind of new power? But at that moment, Alpha knew all was over for her, as she looked at the sky one last time before getting crushed in the palm of the upgraded Titan Cockman. The mysterious purple woman was no more. Titan Clockman looked at the injured Titan TV man that gave him a thumbs up before collapsing. Titan Cameraman was so worried, he was at the brink of death when we got a pleasant surprise. Titan Clockman became so strong that he used clock magic to repair Titan TV Man. He was now as good as new, as if the fight never happened. The two Titans couldn't believe their eyes, when suddenly we see the spheres of the Counter Titan in the air as each turned into a weapon of the three Titans. Shortly after, Titan Clockman stopped time for everyone. He slashed the air a couple times and sent the blow towards the target, destroying them in an instant. So that's how he defeated the Counter Titan so easily. When time comes back on track, the two Titans seem surprised. The shock was so strong that the watch of Titan TV Man blew up. For us, we saw the abilities of Titan Clockman, but for them, the enemy just exploded. Titan TV Man, even after getting washed by the Counter Titan, was excited to fight. So he said that it was boring and left the scene. Shortly after, the new Golden Titan fixed the Titan Cameraman, as good as old, as good as new. Bro gave his old friend a thumbs up as he gave him an okay sign before flying off. Titan Clockman looked at his beloved Big Ben one last time before flying off. After that, we see the city at night as a little glowing spider came out of what's left from the Counter Titan. Could this little guy be the real Counter Titan hidden under that armor? We haven't heard the last of him yet, I assure you, my friends. Also, Elite Cameraman's Roblox game now has a Skibidi Multiverse update and we'll be getting a couple more multiverse updates with the new Titans soon, so make sure to check it out and play it.